hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel friends in this particular video i'm going to show you uh, how to assign reserved ip address for your instance on oracle cloud okay so here i have two instances one is sync and one is app one okay here you can see uh, app one has no public ip address okay i'm going to show you uh, in this video to how to assign that public ip address if you want to uh, assign static public IP address which is not frequently changed in future okay friends so let's do that so click on this instance and here you can see uh, here are some instructions uh, they have provided so you can go through uh, with that uh, material and here I'm going to click on attach VNICs okay then you can click on this app one okay so here uh, as you can see here ipv address in the resource tab so click on that then here you will get ipv addresses okay and here public ip address not assigned then uh, i will click on this three dotted area and click on edit see here uh, they have asked public ip address type no public ip ephemeral public ip so uh, i'm going to click on this reserved public ip okay no unassigned reserved ip address in this component okay so i'm going to create create new reserved ip here okay and i will name it as a public ip name app1 now click on this button and select oracle so now update it click on update the following service limit were exceeded reserved public ip count uh, request to request a service limit increase from service limit page in the console okay this oracle cloud uh, dashboard has a free service free tire i'm using free tire services so there's uh, they have only one reserved ip address for each free tire users okay so that's why it's not getting uh, it's not taking the uh, multiple reserved ip addresses so now i am click on this ephemeral public ip okay and i will uh, put the name as a app1 because uh, i don't need a uh, reserved ip address for this uh, instance so i will click on update here so and if you want to create your reserved ip address then this process is the same and here i i got the public ip, IP address for my instance and which is ephemeral okay so that's all in this video guys and if you like this video please thumbs up and uh, and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much